routing. Learning objectives. By the end of this topic, you will be able to define the concept of routing, describe the steps for routing procedure, explain the route sheets and bill of materials, identify factors affecting routing procedure, define the concept of schedule and date difference with loading. Introduction. Routing may be defined as the selection of path which each part of the product will follow while being transformed from raw materials to finished products. Path of the product will also give sequence of operation to be adopted while being manufactured. It is the planning process to find the best possible flow of work for the manufacture of a component. It determines that what work to be done, at what the time and what method of work to be followed from raw material to finished component. It gives the operations, path, sequence, type of machine, and specific and optimum sequence of operations. It prescribes flow of work depending on the plant layout, temporary location for raw materials, and system of handling materials. Routing in continuous process industries does not present any problem. In job shop production, Every time the job is new, the route sheets are to be prepared by experienced personnel. Manufacturing System Manufacturing system is defined as a process of collection of materials, equipments and human resources to transform by way of processing and or assembling the raw materials, part or set of parts to produce machines, furniture, household appliances, transport vehicles, communication tools and equipment. Equipment includes manufacturing and measuring equipment tools, material handling and work holding equipment, computer systems. Human resources include supervisory staff, skilled, semi-skilled and unskilled employees, full-time or part-time or temporary to run the system. Image of manufacturing systems in the production system is shown on screen. This means a group of activities with machines and workers to perform various processes and assembly operations to convert raw materials to good quality finished goods at reasonable prices. They include single station cells, machine clusters, manual assembly lines, automated transfer lines, automated assembly systems, machine cells, cellular manufacturing, flexible manufacturing systems. Material handling. The following material handling operations are to be performed while the production system converts the raw materials, parts, and assembles discrete parts and products. Loading parts at every machine or location. Positioning work on each machine. Unloading after completion of operations. Moving the parts from one station to other or to the store or warehouse. Temporary storage between the stations or machines. Work transport between stations. Methods of transportation. Fixed routing. In fixed routing, work units are moved in the same sequence of workstations or machines. Most production lines represent this category. Variable routing. In variable routing, work units are moved through a variety of different stations or machines. Most of the job production represents this category. Routing process involves the following activities. Analysis of components to decide what to make and what to buy, to find quality and type of materials, to find sequence of operations, to find batch sizes, determination of allowances and scrap factors, analysis of cost of work, organization of production control forms. Three cases of product variety in manufacturing systems. 
support our product variety flexibility. The degree to which the system is capable of dealing with variations in the pots or products it produces. Three cases of product variety in manufacturing systems are single model case. In this, all pots or products are identical. Sufficient demand or fixed automation. Batch model case. In this different parts or products are produced by the system. But they are produced in batches because changeovers are required. Hard product variety. Mixed model case. In this, different parts or products are produced by the system. But the system can handle the differences without the need for time consuming changes in setup. Soft product variety. Procedure of routing. Steps or procedure of routing in production. The steps or procedure involved in routing includes Product analysis Determine required materials Fix manufacturing operations Determine size of batch Estimate margin of scrap Analyze the production cost Prepare production control forms Prepare road sheet. Click each procedure of routing tab to learn more. Routing sheet. The purpose of routing is to provide the way to most efficient and economical performance of a function. It is prepared based on the number of employees types of machines and tools, their capacity and runtime. It is a document which has information and data inputs of all the processes, time, log on or out, point of contact. A road sheet contains identification and sequence of work arrangement, symbol or sign of a component of the product, appraisal or assessment of the process or method being followed. Computing the number of units to be produced. Machines and tools used in the operation, their runtime, efficiency and capacity. Evaluation of the entire production process. Road sheet of the component is shown on screen. Process sheet indicating various operations is displayed on screen. Process sheet indicating part number and time of operation is as shown on screen. Overview of classification scheme. Single station cells N equal to 1. Multi-station systems with fixed routing and greater than 1. Multi-station systems with variable routing and greater than 1 and n tends to number of machines. Click each tab to learn more. Single station cells n equal to 1. Two categories of these are conventional machines with workers Manually operated production machine, M equal to 1. Reasons for most widely used manufacturing systems are Easy and less expensive to install. Most adaptable, adjustable and flexible system. Can be converted to fully automated system if there is a demand. Can be maintained easily. Unskilled workers can be employed to take care of the machine. Multi-station systems with fixed routing and greater than 1. In mass production, a series of workstations laid out so that the pot or whole of the product moves through each station and a portion of the total work content is performed at each station and intermittent inspection can be done. This is advantageous if Quantity of products produced is high Work units are identical and symmetrical 
so that operations are performed in the same line. Total operations can be balanced so that continuous movement will be done without any delays between the stations. Multi-station systems with variable routing, n greater than 1 and n tends to number of machines. Parts are moved through group of workstations not in the same sequence, depending on the operations to be performed. Production of a family of parts requiring similar but not identical productions or assembly operations. Production of a complete set of components used to assemble different capacities of the similar final product most widely used in batch production. Bill of Materials The Bill of Materials, BOM, shows number of parts to make, assemble or prepare one item. Each part is to be given only one number. A part is defined by shape, size, tolerance, fit and function. Any deviation needs new part number. It includes the part number, Quantity required for assembly. Product structure or bill of materials of fire extinguisher is shown on screen. The table shows the BVOM of fire extinguisher in detail. Major uses of bill of material. It defines the product and provides method for design change, control, planning, as to what is needed and when, order entry, order configuration and pricing, production, parts needed to assemble a product, costing, material cost of goods to be sold. Routing production. A line production routing sheet is used by managers to monitor total production schedules. It includes a description of the operation, the product rate in pieces per hour, the number of operators and machines needed, the cost of producing the product in standard units. Factors affecting routing procedure. The main objective of routing is the selection of the best and the cheapest way to perform a job. It depends on type of machines in the factory, Specifications of each machine, type of workers required for the machines, tools and other auxiliary equipment available, efficiency of the workers, shape, size and number of components to be manufactured, place of work. Scheduling The definition of scheduling as quoted by eminent scholars are as follows. According to Richard Landsberg and William Spriegel, Scheduling involves establishing the amount of work to be done and the time each element of work will start or the order of work. This includes allocating the quality and rate of output of the plant or department and also the date or order of starting of each unit of work at each station along the route prescribed. According to James Lunday, Scheduling consists of the assignment of starting and completion times for the various operations to be performed. According to Bethel, Atwater, Smith and Stackman Jr., scheduling is that phase of production control which rates the work in the order of its priority and then provides for its release to the plant at the proper time and in the correct sequence. Thus, it is concerned with when work shall be performed on a product or part. According to Leon Alford and Henry Betty, fitting specific jobs into a general timetable so that orders may be manufactured in accordance with contracted liability or in mass production, so that each component may arrive at and enter into assembly in the order and at the time required. Scheduling is the second step in production planning and control. It comes after routing. Scheduling means to Fix the amount of work to be done. Arrange the different manufacturing operations in the order of priority. 
fix the start and completion date and time for each operation. Scheduling is also done for materials, parts, machines, etc. like a timetable of the production. It is similar to the timetable prepared by the railways. Time element is given special importance in scheduling. There are different types of schedules, namely master schedule, operation schedule and daily schedule. Scheduling helps to make optimum use of time. It says that each piece of work is started and completed at a certain predetermined time. It helps to time coordination in production planning. All this helps to deliver the goods to the customers in time. It also eliminates the ideal capacity. It keeps labor continuously employed, so scheduling is an important step in production planning and control. It is essential in a factory, where many products are produced at the same time. Master Production Scheduling, MPS The MPS translates the sales and operations plan, SOP to PP, into a plan for producing specific products in the future. The MPS is the translation of the SOP into producible products that makes up the output. At the operational level, the MPS is developed to generate a Sustainable Materials Requirement Plan, MRP system, and to provide the information for coordination with sales. The MPS is a statement of planned future output. As a statement of output, the MPS forms the basic communication between the market and manufacturing, is stated in product specification terms, part numbers, as in the Bill of Materials, BOM. MPS can be stated in terms of end item product designations, options or modules from which a variety of end products could be assembled, number of units of an average final product, difference with loading. Loading is the work required or can be loaded against the selected machine or workstation once the route is established. The total time required to perform the operation is computed by multiplying the unit operation time given on the standard process sheet by the number of parts to be processed. This total time is then added to the work already planned for the workstation. This is the function of loading and it results in a tabulated list or chart showing the planned utilization of the machines or workstations in the plant. Loading is filling available capacity with sufficient jobs in a given time period. Loading production planner defines which style to be loaded to the production line and quantity to be loaded. Summary Let's summarize the topic. Routing may be defined as the selection of path which each part of the product will follow in the process of transforming raw materials to finished products. Path of the products will also give sequence of operations to be adopted while being manufactured. Manufacturing system is defined as a process of collection of materials, equipments and human resources to transform by way of processing and or assembling the raw materials, part or set of parts to produce machines, furniture, household appliances, transport vehicles, communication tools and equipment. In fixed routing, work units are moved in the same sequence of workstations or machines. In variable routing, work units are moved through a variety of different stations or machines. Routing sheet is prepared based on the number of employees, types of machines and tools, their capacity and runtime. Bill of materials include the part number, quantity required for assembly. Scheduling is the second step in production planning and control. It comes after routing. Scheduling means to Fix the amount of work to be done. Arrange the different manufacturing operations in order of priority. Fix the start and completion, date and time for each operation. Model questions. Define the concept of routing.
identify factors affecting routing procedure. What is Master Production Scheduling MPS? Explain manufacturing system in detail. Describe routing prediction in detail. Write short notes on material handling. Describe work transport between stations. Explain three cases of product variety in manufacturing systems. List the steps or procedure of routing in production.